Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today the topic is related to immunology and the topic of my today's lecture is the cellular differentiation. This means that how our red blood cells and white blood cells came into being. What are the precursor cells that uh, give rise to our white blood cell and red blood cell? And where does these cells come from? Where does this process is conducted? All will be discussed in this video. So let's start with the video. First of all, you should know that uh, our white blood cell and red blood cell are basically, the white blood cells are uh, involved in the immune system. In our, uh, uh, they are playing a role in the immune system and the red blood cells are uh, are acting as an oxygen carrier in our body, okay? So question arises that where does these cells come from and what is the actual location of these, uh, the production of these cells? So this is the main concern of my today's video. So I will discuss this video in my own way and I'm pretty sure that in the last, I, um, you will be understand, I will, you will be, you will get understand and uh, you can then answer any type of question related to this cellular differentiation, okay? So I will discuss each and every point in detail. So stay tuned and watch the video till end. First of all, you should know about the bone marrow. Why I am discussing it? because the actual, uh, the actual place where these blood cells evolve when coming to being, um, these white blood cells and red blood cells, the actual place of that is the bone marrow. What is basically a bone marrow? So bone marrow is a special type of substance that is present in the bones of the human, human beings, okay? And what basically this bone marrow is composed of. Uh, many people are confused in the composition of the bone marrow that what basically a bone marrow is. So basically bone marrow is present inside the, the bones. Just look here to this picture. And there are two types of bone marrow. One is red bone marrow and the other is the yellow bone marrow. And it is basically present inside our bones okay and which type of bones uh, is the, uh, it is present so i will discuss it in a minute but first of all keep this thing in mind that bone marrow is a special substance that is mainly composed of hematopoietic cells more marrow adipose tissues and supporting supportive stromal cells okay i will discuss that what are the function of these uh, three types of cells okay this type, three types of substance. The combination of these cells give rise to a bone marrow. So basically bone marrow is the combination of hematopoietic stem cells, marrow adipose tissues, and supportive stromal cells, okay? When these combines and coordinate with each other, so it, uh, it forms a bone marrow. And where does uh, where it, it is present? So it is present inside the bone. Okay, just look here. This is the uh, this is the inside cavity of the bone. And here is the red bone marrow. And here is the yellow bone marrow. A simple I want to tell you guys that red bone marrow uh, actually give uh, give rise to a red blood cells and white blood cells. And yellow bone marrow give rise to cartilage and other adipose tissues. Okay. So there, this is the difference between the red bone marrow and the yellow bone marrow. The red bone marrow give rise to white blood cell and red blood cells, and yellow bone marrow give rise to cartilage. And uh, actually, the adipose cells are stored, and the fats are stored in it. Okay, inside it. So this is basically the main difference between it. What are hematopoietic stem cells? So keep this thing in mind that these are the these are the cells that give rise to any type of blood cells, any type of white blood cell and red blood cell. So basically, just look here. Here is a term stem, and we all know that what basically a stem is. So if we look to a tree, so uh, if we look to a plant, so there is a special stem, and uh, uh, and by the, and by this stem, different other or the different other branches evolve, okay, give rise. So the main concern is the stem. 
so these hematopoietic stem cells give rise to red blood cells and white blood cells okay they this is a basically a precursor cell there is this is a, a precursor cell and it can give rise to any white blood cell and red blood cell as i have shown you in the previous slide okay so if you look here if i just um, turn it on so um, these all are the white blood cell and the red blood cell uh, these are this is the red blood cell and uh, after that these all are the white blood cell okay so basically these all are evolved from a common cell and that is known as the hematopoietic stem cell this stem cell divides in such a manner okay that it give rise to different other cells how it give rise to different other cells that is because of the mitosis and uh, question arises that uh, how it divides to basophil and neutrophil so there are basically many different chemical messengers and uh, chemical signals and they are giving orders to the stem cells to give rise to basophil or neutrophil for example uh, uh, the neutrophils in our body is using okay they are used up so what happens when there is a decrease in the population of the neutrophil so signal is given to the stem cell okay and just because of this signal this signal contains the message that there is a low low low, low level of neutrophils and after that it uh, this stem cell give rise to neutrophils okay so this is a basic mechanism and this is a topic for a new video i will draw a video over it i will compose a video over it then you will uh, watch it in detail so but first of all just keep this thing in mind that what are basically hematopoietic stem cell just look here as the name indicates that it uh, it, uh, it is evolved as hema and hema means blood cells okay so it can give rise to any white blood cell and red blood cell the second is the marrow adipose tissues okay the marrow adipose tissues so these are type of uh, the combination of uh, cells that uh, when they combine so they form adipose tissue and what they do basically they are involved in acting uh, active metabolism of glucose and fats okay these cells are involved in the active metabolism of glucose and fats and by the energy that is produced by these metabolism can be used by the hematopoietic stem cells to divide okay because uh, my, uh, in mitosis their uh, energy is needed by the cell to divide so this energy is basically provided by the marrow adipose tissues okay and the third one is the supportive stromal cell the supportive stromal cell so as the name indicates just like uh, if we are having a cell okay so there is a cytoplasm and the organelles are present in it okay so basically these are also uh, these are also cell just look here uh, this uh, this picture is basically the stromal cells okay so these all are the stromal cells and they are also giving support to the hematopoietic stem cells and, uh, and the marrow, marrow adipose tissues okay the nutrients that are needed by these cells are provided by these supportive stromal cells and different other supports are also given to these cells but they are not well known okay so by the combination of these cells bone marrow is composed so here this these cells are the stem cell and it can give rise to any type of white blood cell and red blood cell and uh, this is the adipose this white white color is the adipose tissues and they are giving support they are also giving support and energy to the hematopoietic stem cell and basically these are the the matrix uh, is the uh, supportive stromal cells and they are giving different other support to the adipose tissues and the hematopoietic stem cells okay so by the coordination of these three types of cells bone marrow is composed okay so if someone asks you that what basically bone marrow is so you can give uh, you can use this slide and give answer to it and where does it where it is present it is present inside the bone okay inside the cavity of the bone if we proceed further so i was telling you that what is the location of the white uh, red bone marrow and the yellow bone marrow same so and when you are infant and you are below one year so basically all the bones that are present in you is uh, is giving rise to red blood cells okay the white blood cell and the red blood cell but when you but when you are adult about 25 years 
So what happens? This portion, just look here, just look here to the key. So the yellow, the bones that are colored in yellow or green, these, these are basically give, giving rise to yellow bone marrow. And the red color basically is giving rise to red bone marrow, okay? This is a typical structure of a bone, the femur. So here is the yellow bone marrow, okay? This is the yellow and this red color is the red bone marrow, okay? So just like this, it is present inside the bone, okay? And where it is present, so the red bone marrow is basically present in the ribs and the pelvic region, and it is also present in the femur also. And, uh, but basically the yellow bone marrow is present mainly in the tibia and the femur and the bones of the uh, hands, okay? But keep this thing in mind that uh, the red bone marrow can also exist where, where their yellow mar marrow is, is, is existing, okay? Means that a single bone can also consist of a red bone marrow and a yellow bone marrow. Keep this thing in mind, okay? If we proceed further, so this is a typical uh, uh, detailed structure of a bone marrow. So just look here. This is a compact bone and uh, the spongy bone consists of red bone marrow. And keep this thing in mind that the bone marrow is highly vascularized, meaning that there are high content of blood vessels, okay? This means that when the uh, red blood cells and the white blood cells are composed, so then they can be actively given to the arteries and the veins and the capillaries in order to distribute it into the body, okay? So these are highly vascularized, okay? And so blood vessels in the bone marrow. And this is the bone marrow. Now, if you look here, so this is also a, a detailed structure of the bone marrow. This is the bone and here is the bone marrow. And if we look here to this portion, the pelvic region of this boy, so this is the compact bone, okay? This is the bone marrow. Yeah, uh, I'm again and again. I'm showing you the diagram, so just you, uh, so that if you, that you are clear about the bone marrow. Okay, why I'm discussing the bone marrow because this is the main site of the cellular differentiation of the immune cells, the white blood cells and the red blood cells. Okay, so hope you have understand about the bone marrow. Now this is the actual structure of the bone marrow. This is a, a scanning electron. Uh, this is an image of the scanning electron microscope of a, of a finger. So this portion, the, this red portion is the red bone marrow, okay? This is the actual structure of a finger, the bone of a finger, okay? And it is taken by an electron microscope. So this is the red red marrow and this yellow is the uh, yellow marrow, okay? So this is YM, okay? So now this is the actual structure, the, 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 the previous one or the animated structure. But basically, this is now the actual structure of a finger, okay? And it is taken by the uh, electron microscope. So these are, this is the bone marrow, the red bone marrow, and this is the yellow bone marrow, okay? So hope you have now understand it. Now I will discuss the cellular differentiation that uh, which type of cell give rise to other type of cells, okay? So this is the main concern of our video. Okay, now this is happening inside our um, inside the bone marrow. As I have told you that uh, there is a hematopoietic stem cells and it can give rise to any type of red blood cells and white blood cell. Okay, so this is a, uh, an animated diagram. Okay, now I will explain it. So these are the hematopoietic stem cells that is present in the bone marrow. Okay, so it can divide into two type of cells uh, in the first step. It can divide into myeloid stem cells and the lymphoid stem cells, okay? Keep this thing in mind. And after that, this myeloid stem cell, if we start from here, so this myeloid stem cell can give, give rise to, it can redivide or it can differentiate into erythroblast. And after that, by the series of different uh, differentiation, at that is, it can give rise to red blood cell, okay? RBC. I'm, this is the... RBC. So it starts from the hematopoietic stem cell and after that it, it is differentiated into myeloid stem cell and, and then it is differentiated into erythroblast and it can give rise to red blood cell. This my, uh, myeloid stem cell by the action of different chemical messengers, it can also give rise to megakaryoblast 
and this mega karyoblast can then differentiate into mega karyocytes and after that it can give rise to platelets okay these are the platelets and after that it can give also it can also give rise to granulocytes granulocytes are the neutrophil the eosinophils and the basophils so it can also give rise to the basophils eosinophils and the neutrophils okay the single myeloid stem cell okay so and it can also give rise to monoblast and this monoblast can give rise if i scroll down a little bit so uh, wait a minute okay this uh, uh, this can uh, this can give rise to uh, uh, neutrophils basophils and eosinophils and this monoblast can give rise to monocytes and monocyte as we know that monocyte can give rise to macrophages okay it can give rise to macrophages and another uh, another is the that if i show you that this uh, uh, this uh, this stem cell this myeloid stem cell when it uh, it is differentiated from the hematopoietic stem cell so it can also give rise to mast cells okay and this mast cells are also very much important in our immune system okay so it starts from the uh, hematopoietic stem cell and it can give rise to red blood cells platelets neutrophils basophils eosinophils and uh, macrophages and it can also give rise to dendritic cells and the mast cells okay and so this was the first portion of the myeloid stem cell now if we uh, proceed further so this stem cell the next portion is that this hematopoietic stem cell can also give rise to it can also give rise to natural killer cells it first it should be differentiated into lymphoid stem cell stem cell and after that it is divided into it is differentiated into natural killer cells and we all know that natural killer cells are actively involved in the killing of the infected cells okay after that this lymphoid stem cell can give rise to lymphoblast and these lymphoblast can then give rise to t cells and b cells and we all know that what are basically t cells and b cells the actual mechanism of the function of the t cells and the b cells and the other uh, immune cells i will discuss it in a later video but first of all you should know about the cellular differentiation that where does it begin so it begins from the hematopoietic stem cell and after that it is divided into myeloid stem cell and the lymphoid stem cell so and the myeloid stem cell can give rise to a variety of cells that include the uh, the red blood cells the platelets the uh, neutrophils the basophils the eosinophils the macrophages the mast cell the dendritic cell and the lymphoid stem cell can give rise only to natural killer cells t cells and b cells okay so and this is all happening in the bone marrow this is all happening in the bone marrow okay so now i think you have understand this is all happening in the bone marrow and after that when it is uh, it is formed okay so then it is actively given to the uh, capillaries and the veins and the arteries and it is distributed and uh, distributed among the body okay so this was all about the cellular differentiation we have uh, we have understand about the bone marrow that what is basically a bone marrow we have understand that where does this bone marrow is uh, is present the actual places where the, uh, where the bone marrow is present we discuss about the red bone marrow and the white bone marrow we discuss about the bone anatomy that where is actually the bone marrow present and uh, and how uh, how the cells are differentiated into different other kind of uh, cells okay uh, immune cells and the red blood cells so hope you have understand this video if you have any questions so you can ask me in the comment box i will answer you there and you, if you have understand this video so like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos related to science thank you very much god bless you